What's up? That's an old, that's the tune I wrote called, um, got a weird history of that. It was called Sandy Hook. And, uh, I put that out on a CD back in, uh, 2006. It, it was, um, I think my seventh, uh, fifth or sixth CD. And the background of it was, you know, coming along as a kid in New Jersey, there's a place called Sandy Hook, which is the point where the, uh, Atlantic Ocean separated from the uh, the Raritan Bay, and it was a national uh, state park. And uh, a long time ago, it was a military fort. It was a lot of stuff going on. It's a beautiful recreation area. So anyway, that was one pla place that I had in mind when I wrote the song, or after I wrote the song, because I had the instrumental. And then I was in Florida years ago, but it must have been around 07. It was right after, uh, I think, Hurricane Charlie had hit, and I was down there. I was doing some... Uh, I was playing for the Chamber of Commerce, was working up a little get together after they were trying to put their town back together. And uh, there was a restaurant called Sandy Hook and I'm sitting there and I was playing the song and I hadn't had a name for the song at the time. And I thought, well, I'll just name it Sandy Hook. Well, that's cool. And I put it on the CD and the CD came out and then that horrible thing in Connecticut happened, Sandy Hook. And uh, that, so, it was that uh, disaster, tragedy, just horrible thing that happened. In, uh, and, and so it changed the pretty much the context of the song to where uh, if, if I call it Sandy Hook and people wonder about it, then I just have to call it kind of a uh, celebration of life is really what I what I call it. Because the name changed, you know, after, after that uh, horrible, you know, event went down. But it's... Uh, it, it's done well. I've used it. It's been featured in some TV shows here and there, and uh, it's just an instrumental, just something that I started writing and, and put together. Tell me about this guitar you're playing. Yeah, this one is, uh, I bought this in like 1975, and it was from a guitar store somewhere in Atlanta. It was, um, I think I paid like 200 bucks for it. It's a Gibson J50, and it's just still, uh, I, I had taken it on the road for a long time. Uh, it's a little little more adept to uh, just staying close to home and writing and uh, playing in, in situations like this, but it still sounds wonderful and I've got uh, I've got light gauge elixir strings on it. I have an endorsement with those folks with, I have an endorsement with Taylor Guitars, but this is my old Gibson that I just, I do a lot of writing on it and playing and just, it's just one of those things. It's like an old pair of shoes. It just, it just feels really good, you know, when you play it. It sounds good. So you bought it new? No, no, it was used then. It's and a, you it's, bought it in '74? Yeah, about. I think it was like '75 or '76, right in there somewhere. And, uh, but it's a, it's a mid. I think it's a mid '60s uh, J50. All right. So what do you like about it? How it's just got that good ring. It's just kind of just, it just feels good. It's just, it's settled in. Like I said, it's like an old pair of shoes. It's just, it was not, it was never electrified. I do have a pickup that I used to put in, but that kind of takes away the, the acoustic sound. If you put a regular pickup in there, it's more like a, just a clean electric guitar. And it doesn't, it doesn't sound bad, it did okay. But the only problem with that pickup is I was, I was getting more, um, I was to get equal sound on each string. One of, I think the high, the, the higher strings were coming across louder than the lower strings or vice versa, something like that. The, the sound wasn't balanced on it. But if you sit in front of a mic or out front, or just, just sit and play it. It just, uh, it just sounds wonderful. You got something else you wrote on there? Yeah, here's a, I did, I named the CD, um, I think it was my fifth CD back in 2002. song this is called pastime it's the title track of a cd i did in 2002 it's an instrumental use it as the title track it's named after my house uh, basically my my next door neighbor in new jersey when i was a kid the folks back in the way back in the day used to name their houses and pastime was on their house when i was just a little kid my grandparents bought the house eventually and would use it as a summer uh hangout and after they passed and we were getting ready to sell the house up there uh, back in the 80s. I was going through stuff upstairs. And I found the old pastime sign 
from back in the early century. I mean, 1900. And I brought it with me back down here to Georgia. It's on my house now. And it's called Pastime, this song.